Hello viewers, today I'll be giving you a tutorial on how to prepare PCIs and then facilitate them in class regardless of the learning area. May it be chemistry, may it be physics, may it be history or CRE, or there must be a PCI related to the substrate that you have to facilitate in class. Welcome to the tutorial. Now, PCIs have, or PCI in full, is the pertinent and the contemporary issues that prevail around us, around our learners. Previously, we used to call them emerging issues. Now, these PCIs, if mishandled, they can turn to be very problematic and they can lead to loss of property, life, or make us live a miserable life. It should be noted that these PCIs tend to dominate the kingdom of the learners so much because the learners are young, they are inexperienced, and they lack knowledge to push them out of their kingdom. So it is up to you, it is up to us teachers to ensure that the learners get a lot of information concerning these PCIs. Now, then, you have also noted that these PCIs are categorized into two, into three. We have the health-related uh, uh, issues, for example, lifestyle diseases like obesity. We also have the life skills, life skills, PCIs or issues. For example, knowing how to live with oneself, contain self, without affect, uh, affecting, affecting others. Think of just a learner. Think of just a learner. Then, there are those P, uh, PCIs which are socioeconomic related, for example, poverty. Poverty is a problem that can dominate some learners and even pull them out of the education system. So it is up to us as teachers to ensure that in every substrate that we give in class, we give so many related PCIs. Then the question is, what is a substrate? Now, a substrate is a body of knowledge that you prepare and go to facilitate in a lesson. And the context of a substrate is the PCIs, the skills, the talent, the values, and the positive attitude. Remember, within a lesson, you have to facilitate all this. Or in other words, we say, when preparing, you have to unwrap, you have to unwrap the PCIs, you unwrap the skills, you unwrap the talent, you unwrap the values, and the positive attitude and prepare them in your notebook so that you can go to class and facilitate. Today, I will show you how to prepare the PCIs, but remember, you prepare all of them when you are preparing, but let us see how we can go about extracting PCIs in a substrate, and we will take a CRE substrate like the core of Moses. Now, in this substrate, the core of Moses, you realize that the author of the learner's textbook has given you only one, uh, one PCI. He has cited only one PCI, but when you read through that substrate in the Bible, the core of Moses, you realize you can come up with so many other PCIs. 
For example, in grade 3 textbook, the author has cited fire and how learners ought to secure themselves if there is an outbreak of fire here and there. But when you read it through, you come with so many other PCIs. For example, in the same same subscribe you are reading the Bible, there is the mention of descent. Now, if there is the mention of descent, Moses increasing in the descent, then it is up to you to tell your learners what is a descent, what causes a descent, the impact of descent to living beings, and how that problem can be solved, how that issue can be solved. When you read the father, you also realize Moses is grazing uh, sheep and goats. And immediately you think of the endeavors milk and meat. There is a PCI here in this milk and meat. For example, what is the danger of eating meat which is not inspected? Let your learners know of the PCI and drugs. Then you go down in the same same meat and milk, there's another PCI. What is the danger of eating a half cooked or uncooked meat and consuming the same milk? Let the learners know that they can get a disease called brucellosis which does not only cause spontaneous abortion in animals but also in human beings. So when next time they are frying meat in the kitchen, they don't keep on tasting when it has not cooked, they are just eating right in the kitchen. Go down. There is also another PCI, Moses is grazing. Bring the PCI of overgrazing. What are the problems associated with overgrazing? So erosion, how do we cap it? Your learners are still getting information on so many PCIs. Go down. It is also the mention of the Israelites suffering in Egypt. They are slaves. They are doing hard labor. They are enslaved to work. Look around your learners. Bring the PCI of child labor. Are there learners who are experiencing child labor in your class? Or do they know of a child somewhere in the community who does not attend school because the child is doing child labor? Then how are you going to engage all education stakeholders to solve that problem? Now, when you do that, you will have your PCIs ready to go to class, but there is a challenge, the challenge of time. Remember, the lesson is timed. So what you do here to save time or economize on time is have some PCIs in the form of question in Manila papers. Put them in Manila papers. And once you put them in Manila papers, in form of question, mount them in the class, mount them in the class in form of questions. And let your learners sharpen their core competency of learning to learn. Believe you me, if you have taught them how to integrate ICT, your learners will go go and they'll be able to give answers to all what you have mounted and if they will have knowledge, that not only will benefit them, but they can take that same knowledge to their families, or they can be given some minutes, zero minutes in the church or any other rally to talk about brucellosis or anthrax and inform the community. Once you have prepared your PCI now, they are ready here to go to class to be facilitated. As a wise teacher, you will know already these PCIs and will have divided your class into two groups. Those who are affected by them and those who are not affected. 
and if there is danger. If you go to facilitate your PCIs in class just anyhow, the, you will either leave the class divided in the enmity or hatred of one another, or uh, another, you will end up creating another PCI for the learners which you have not resolved. So what you want to do here is to note that there could be learners affected by the PCI I'm taking to class. And once you go there, let's say you are teaching fire, and in the class there was a learner who is a victim, their property was burnt, or the learner is having the little scar of being burnt. And in class you are just facilitating. What will happen is, the other learners who are not affected will start looking at the one who is affected suspiciously as if he, does, he or he does not fit. And the affected learner also will have his self-esteem lowered, self-efficacy lowered. So what do you need to do here? You want to do a pre-class counseling. Then from there, you can take your PCI. Another thing is, ensure that if there are learners who are affected in your class, you sympathize and empathize with them. To sympathize means to be sorry, but don't just be sorry and go your way. No, bring in the empathy, empathize with them. To empathize means to take action to get your learner out of that PCI, that problem. For example, you may be having a learner in class who got the kilos, eh? the kilos in the part of the body. They can grow anywhere because of body tattooing and here appears a body appears in here and there. You have to sympathize with this learner and go as far as empathizing. Have the learner together with the maybe collaborating with other stakeholders like the parent be taken to hospital and the killings are gotten right off. And by so doing, you will have helped this learner to restore the self-efficacy, the self-esteem, and the beauty. I know of Kenyatta National Hospital, the ENT section which deals with this problem. They remove the clones. Then, if the, if the damage is already done, if the damage is already done and the learner cannot be able, even if we brought the doctors and many other people, to remove this PCI out of his kingdom, then ensure that the learner coexists with that PCI, that problem, peacefully without the perishing. Think of PCIs like diseases like HIV and AIDS. Let the learner live peacefully with them, taking the right for drugs, the right for diet, and uh, giving guidance and counseling to this learner so that the learner does not perish. To, keep, to help father in keeping these PCIs at bay, Ensure that your learners know the school rules, the family rules, the community rules, and they follow them to the latter. And if they are of age, let them know the national and international laws and keep them. Because without keeping rules and laws, it is just like opening the gate, the door, for PCIs to dominate the learner. And once our learners are dominated by the PCIs, we will be lamenting in the staff room, hey, our learners, our temeseki, our ambiliki. 
It is not because the learners do not hear, do not listen. It is because we did not bring in so many related PCIs when handling our substrate. We only concentrated on the PCI given by the author of the book. Remember, the author of the book gave only one PCI because during the KICD vetting of these books, they are advised not to bring voluminous book, books which are so big because they are for the learners. So they economize on the content that they are bringing here. Kindly gather, extract so many PCIs in any substrate that you are taking to class. And it should be noted that the PCIs are for every subject learning area. Not only CRE. For example, in chemistry, you may teach your learners the danger of eating specimen in the lab or the danger of pouring acid on their bodies. So, what we give so many PCI or knowledge concerning PCI to our learners, uh, we will have improved the discipline, we will have increased their life skills, and we will all coexist peacefully. We will coexist peacefully with disciplined learners. Thank you for listening to me. Kindly give me a comment, subscribe. I am human.